the fact that uh, I identified so strongly with, with Warren's characters uh, enabled me, it, it freed me in a way. Uh, I didn't have to, uh, to think about how to express myself because it, it just came naturally. It was part of the uh, process. And so that uh, uh, it enabled both of us uh, in, in a funny way to uh, be less self-conscious, to be less intellectual, uh, to be more you know, intuitive about the work that we were doing. Director Monty Hellman turned to Warren as the hero of four films, which have been described as dry, daft, and desperate, as absurd and passionate as every sport. As with Peckinpah, Oates forged a friendship with Hellman that would last until his death. I realized on the shooting how, uh, how intellectual his approach really was. You know, he, he pretended not to be an intellectual. He pretended to, you know, just to be a very simple person. He was a very complex person. And, uh, and he, I think, uh, approached his roles uh, uh, first, you know, from, through thought. And then, as it became him, as he became the character, the character became him, uh, I think the emotions would take over and he would forget about all the thought. In Cockfighter, uh, Warren, uh, uh, in typically modest fashion, uh, uh, was happy to be doing it because he said it was the easiest party ever. He didn't have to learn any lines, you know. And uh, he, uh, I mean, it was, that was the grossest understatement of all time because, uh, you know, he. I think he, he gives one of the, the great movie performances in Cockfighter. You know what you said in your sleep last night? You said, Randy, you mother, I'm going to kick your shitty ass clear across this room. You remember that? Who's Randy? You can't fool me. If you can talk when you're asleep, you can talk when you're awake. I just want you to know I know it. There are two really fascinating scenes for me of, of Warren and Cockfighter. Uh, one is the scene by the river with uh, Mary Elizabeth. I think it was a, an extraordinary uh, achievement you know, for an actor to be able to do what he did without the use of language. The other scene uh, was the scene where he <clears throat> steps on the head of the, uh, the rooster and and gives it to her. I think that bird has more of a heart than you ever will have. He sure as hell has more of a voice. You know, when you look at some of the careers of, of great character actors who try to become leading men uh, and fail at it, uh, it's almost a blessing that uh, when someone remains true to himself and uh, you know, can play the kind of varied roles that Warren played. Uh, but I saw him as a hero. I saw him as a, as a leading man and, uh, and cast him as, as the hero of my movies. I was very angry that uh, that he died because I felt that he that he literally killed himself. He called me the day before and, and said, uh, uh, "I just had a heart attack." And I said, "What?" And uh, he said, "No, nah, I, I, I was just kidding. I, you know, I had a, a bad indigestion last night." And uh, I, you know, those kind of jokes are not kidding. You know, he was he was telling me something, and he was telling himself something <clears throat> and uh, I know he was uh, you know experiencing pain for six months or so and uh, he wouldn't wouldn't go to a doctor so I was really angry I was mad at him when he died